Channel 2 News. I'm Victoria. And I'm Andrew. At the top of the news, force, a natural born killer. Force, which is defined as the cause of acceleration of an object. For more on the story, we go to Joey Carson. Hey, Victoria. One of the first men who ever worked with force was Sir Isaac Newton. He developed these three laws of motion that have been fundamental ever since. First law is that an object in motion will stay in motion until acted upon by another force. And this game is soccer. The second law states that the acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the force acting upon it. It's seen as when the injured kicks the ball softly, the acceleration is slow. But when I kick it with more force, the acceleration is greater. The third law states that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Thanks, Joey. In other news, friction. What exactly is it? Friction is the force that opposes the acceleration of an object. There are two types of friction, static and kinetic. Static friction occurs when two objects are not moving relative to each other. Friction is when objects are moving relative to each other. Take this book. At rest, the book and the table are an example of static friction. When moved, it becomes an example of kinetic friction. There are two factors affecting friction, the coefficient of friction and normal force. The coefficient of friction, a dimensionless quantity, used to calculate the force of friction. Normal force is defined as the net force compressing two parallel surfaces together. Its direction is perpendicular to the surfaces. Back to you, Victoria. Thank you, Andrew. And now we're going to show with gravitation. Gravitation. It's what keeps our feet on the ground and my butt in this seat. Sir Isaac Newton did a lot of work with gravitation. He discovered that two objects with mass will have natural attraction to each other. I decided to go out into the field to test some of these theories. As I set out to learn more about gravity, I wondered what it would be like to jump out of a perfectly good airplane. I soon learned that bodies falling towards the Earth will gain speed at a constant rate of 9.81 meters per second squared. This will continue until the object reaches a speed called terminal velocity, at which point it will stop accelerating. Now back to Joe. And now over to Andrew. And now back to Victoria. And now over to Victoria with the weather. Victoria. Momentum describes an object's motion. To achieve a change in momentum, the force in time interval must be changed as well. The product of force in time is known as the impulse. Time is a very important thing to remember when discussing force and momentum. Time directly affects the force and momentum of an object. And to Victoria, we have an example of momentum. As you can see, the slinky kept its momentum so it would keep falling down the stairs. One direct effect of momentum are collisions. There are two types of collision, elastic and inelastic. An elastic collision is when an object bounces off the object it collides with. An elastic sticks to the object it collides with. Now I'm joking for some examples. Hey. Thank you, Victoria. This is an example of an elastic collision. What did you say? As you can see, the ball bounces off the wall and does not stick to the wall. This is an example of an elastic collision. The clay should stick to the wall. Thank you, Joey. That's it for Channel 2 News.